In a dramatic change in how cars and light trucks are regulated, the president tomorrow will announce new national standards on fuel efficiency and tailpipe emissions, a plan even some environmentalists weren't expecting so soon. This is an enormous dis announcement. Uh, that we will finally get national standards that accelerate fuel economy standards. You know what? Um, you know what else is fun, Jonathan? You yeah. know what, what else is fun? What? What else is fun? You're preparing for the 21st century green economy. That's, That's fine. Right. Yeah. Cafe standards, green nothing is like. Universal. Good for the environment. Mm -hmm. Good green for energy. Good for the country. Good for the good country. For America, good for you and I me. Love America. President Obama is sidestepping Congress to make every new vehicle sold in the United States more fuel efficient. This is really a big deal. In fact, what he's doing is imposing new standards through the federal rulemaking process. We import a lot of foreign oil. We import this foreign oil from places like the Middle East that are, uh, give us trouble. And if we can reduce our, our oil imports, that's a good thing. It's no secret that uh, these are folks who've occasionally been at odds uh, for years, even decades. In fact, some of the groups here have been embroiled in lawsuits against one another. So that gives you a sense of how impressive and significant it is that these leaders from across the country are willing to set aside the past for the sake of the future. Uh, we are very happy that uh, this has happened because it means a reduction of one-third of greenhouse gases and one-third of oil consumption. As you have heard the president say, this is uh, you know, reducing oil consumption by 1.8 billion uh, uh, gallons uh, of oil, so this is staggering. The president from the campaign trail to now pushing this energy independence agenda, also reducing greenhouse gas emissions. What happened today, that announcement at the White House, was two major steps on both of those fronts in terms of fuel economy emissions. This was something that was negotiated from the early days of this administration and until the last minute, really this weekend, it just came together on Sunday uh, and, and the folks that you saw today were called on Monday and said, get to the White House. And I think at this point, uh, everybody is signing on to uh, an inevitability uh, and of course everybody's trying to spin it as a win-win for themselves and it may be in the long run but everybody seems to be on board which is an amazing thing when you look back at the history of this issue.